Hi, this is Ken from Litco Game Accessories. In this video, we're going to go over some common questions regarding our base bottom products. First of all, what is a miniature base bottom? Simply put, it's not a base. It's what you attach to the underside of your base. Litco sells three base bottom products, and I have all three here in front of me. First, we have our standard duty magnetic base bottom. Second, our heavy duty magnetic base bottom. And lastly, our flex steel base bottom. Now we'll go over each one of these in turn, but it's worth mentioning now that the magnet and the heavy duty magnet are very different from the flex steel. Key differences between our regular duty magnetic base bottom and our heavy duty magnet. Our regular magnet is 20 thousandths of an inch thick. That's about half a millimeter for our metric customers. This product is good for metal figures of 25 millimeter scale or smaller. Our heavy duty product has about 33% more strength compared to our regular duty product. This is a much better choice for heroic scale and larger figures. This product is 30 thousandths of an inch thick or about 3 quarter millimeter. Now for the confusing beast of the bunch. This is flex steel. From the looks of it, you could confuse it with our magnetic base bottoms. But be aware that it has no magnetic pull on its own. If I try to stick it to the steel ruler, you see it simply falls off. Not magnetic, it doesn't stick. This is a vinyl product and looks exactly like our magnetic base bottoms. If you get them mixed up, try sticking the base bottom to a steel surface. If it doesn't stick, it's flex steel. A refrigerator actually makes a great test surface. Just try sticking it next to that picture of your mom. Flex steel is not a steel base. It's a flexible steel base bottom. You need to actually attach it to something. Okay, so why do we offer all three products? Well, we, why do we want magnetism on our miniature bases at all? Transportation. The whole point of magnetizing our bases is for safe transportation of our nicely painted figures. Miniatures are transported from home to game site using shoe boxes, pizza boxes, tool boxes, cookie sheets, and just about anything else gamers can find to host a small army. Cookie sheets and steel tool boxes have the advantage of being ferrous steel. That is, they're made of magnetically receptive steel. Magnets will stick to them. Put a magnetic base bottom under your base and you're good to go. For other carriers, you either need to magnetize the base or magnetize the inside of the carrier. If you magnetize your base, your carry tray needs to be lined with flex steel. If you line your carry tray with magnet, you want to use flex steel as your base bottom. Just think opposites. This way your minis will stay nice and secure. Now, what happens when you have magnet on the bottom of your base and you try to use magnet in the bottom of your carry tray? Well, you're going to have magnetic alignment issues. As you can see, when I take our magnetic base bottoms and stick them to each other, they stick great in one direction and horribly or not at all in the other. When I take our magnet and our flex steel product and try to stick them to each other, you can see that they actually stick great in either direction, any direction. Let's imagine using magnets on the bottoms of our bases and magnets in our carry tray. Imagine trying to put our minis away and carefully aligning each one of them so they get that good magnet to magnet stickiness. We're going to end up spending more time figuring that out than playing our actual game. We need to use magnet on either the bottom of the base or the bottom of the carry tray and flex steel on the other. What's the right way to do it? The truth is either way. If you've started going with one way, go ahead and run with it. Otherwise the choice is really up to you. For example, if you happen to have some minis already based on steel washers, you're going to want to use magnet in your carry tray. Pennies, another common basing method, are not magnetically receptive. Feel free to go with either or. Just remember to use opposites. All of our magnetic and flex steel base bottoms come with a peel and stick backing. There is no glue involved. Simply peel off the white paper backing and attach it to the bottom of your base. That's it. I hope this has been educational. Again, this is Ken with Litco Game Accessories. You can find us at www.litkoaero.com or just Google Litco to upgrade your game.